Welcome to the video tutorial on how to track vector simple faces with Python OpenCV. In this comprehensive tutorial, we will explore the fascinating world of computer vision and learn how to utilize the power of Python and OpenCV to track simple faces in real time. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced programmer, this tutorial will provide you with the necessary knowledge and skills to detect and track faces using vector graphics. So, Let's dive in and discover the exciting possibilities of facial tracking with Python and OpenCV. First I will create a file with the extension Py. Here I will import some support libraries. I have already installed the packages. If you don't already install it, install it. Import CV. Well, this line imports the OpenCV library, which is a popular computer vision library used for image and video processing. Import MediaPipe as MP. This line imports the MediaPipe library, which provides a collection of pre-built, reusable building blocks for various types of media processing tasks. MP drawing equals MP. Solutions. Drawing utils. This line creates a variable named MP drawing that refers to the drawing utility functions provided by MediaPipe. These functions are used to draw landmarks and annotations on images or videos. MP drawing styles equals MP. Solutions. Drawing styles. This line creates a variable named MP drawing styles that refers to the drawing style configurations provided by MediaPipe. These styles define the appearance of the drawn landmarks and annotations. MP face mesh equals MP. Solutions. Face mesh. This line creates a variable named MP face mesh that refers to the face mesh solution provided by MediaPipe. This line of code creates a variable called drawing spec and assigns it a value using the MP drawing. Drawing spec function from the MediaPipe library. This function is used to specify the visual properties of a drawing such as the thickness of lines and the radius of circles. In this case, thickness is set to 1 and circle radius is set to 1, indicating that the drawn lines will be thin and the circles will have a small radius. This line of code creates a variable called cap and assigns it the result of calling the CV quote. Video capture function from the OpenCV library. This function is used to access and control video capture devices, such as webcams. The argument 0 pass to CV well. Video Capture specifies that the default webcam should be used as the video source. The code begins by initializing a face mesh object from the MP face mesh module. This object is used for detecting and tracking faces in an image or video stream. The face mesh object is configured with the following parameters. Max num faces equals 1. This sets the maximum number of faces to be detected and tracked to 1. It indicates that the code is designed to handle only one face at a time. Refine landmarks equals true, this parameter enables the refinement of facial landmarks. It means that the detected facial landmarks will be further refined to provide more accurate results. Min detection confidence equals 0.5, this sets the minimum confidence threshold for face detection. Faces with a detection confidence score below this threshold will be ignored. Min tracking confidence equals 0.5, this sets the minimum confidence threshold for face tracking. Faces with a tracking confidence score below this threshold will be considered lost and no longer tracked. The code enters a while loop, which indicates that the face detection and tracking process will continue as long as the cap object, presumably a video capture object, is open. Within the loop, the code reads a frame from the camera using the cap, read, function and assigns it to the image variable. The success variable is used to indicate whether the frame was successfully read. If the frame was not successfully read, success is false, the code prints the message camera and continues to the next iteration of the loop. This typically occurs when there is an issue with accessing the camera or when the end of the video stream is reached.
The code uses the CV Whoa. Im show function to display an image or video frame in a window titled vector face. The CV Whoa. Flip function is applied to the image variable, flipping it horizontally, one, to provide a mirrored effect. This function call is responsible for showing the image or video frame to the user. The CV Whoa. Wait key, five, function waits for a keyboard event for a specified number of milliseconds, in this case, five milliseconds. It allows the program to listen for keyboard input while the window is active. If there are multi-face landmarks detected, the code enters a loop to iterate over each face landmarks object in the results. Multi-face landmarks list. Within the loop, the code calls the MP drawing, draw landmarks, function multiple times to draw different types of landmarks on the image. A. The first draw landmarks, call draws the face mesh tessellation landmarks. It uses the face landmarks as the landmark list, specifies the MP face mesh, face mesh tessellation connections, and uses the default drawing style for face mesh tessellation. B. The second draw landmarks, call draws the face mesh contours landmarks. It uses the same face landmarks as the landmark list, specifies the MP face mesh, face mesh contours connections, and uses the default drawing style for face mesh contours. C. The third draw landmarks, call draws the face mesh virus landmarks. It uses the same face landmarks as the landmark list, specifies the MP face mesh, face mesh viruses connections, and uses the default drawing style for face mesh virus connections. Each draw landmarks, call modifies the image by drawing the specified landmarks and connections on it. In summary, this code checks for the presence of detected face landmarks and then proceeds to draw different types of landmarks, tessellation, contours, and irises on the image for each detected face. The MP drawing module is used to perform the actual drawing of the landmarks and connections. Okay, I will run the code now. Face tracking is displayed on the camera. Thank you for watching the video. If it is useful, please like and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you.